G'day folks. I'm just uh, having a bit of a play around with this ignition coil now that uh, one of my subscribers who I sent one to, uh, I believe his name is Phil from uh, La Trobe Uni um, Physics Department. Uh, he's, I sent him one of these and he's put it on his test bench and even done a little video for me which I'll post a link to in the description. So thank you Phil and likewise La Trobe Uni. Um, they actually did a bit of work on their uh, chem labs, I believe it was, many years ago when they renovated them. I was working on them with my dad. So it's a pretty small world. And it's Bundura campus, by the way. I was working on Bundura when they were modifying or building new chem labs. But yeah, he showed me how to set this up, worked out the pinouts or found something on them. I couldn't find anything on it, but he shows a diagram on there on the video. And these are internally driven. I've been driving this one a bit so it's a little bit warm but if we don't push them too hard they should last and what I'm about to do is going to create a hell of a lot of EMF like you'd see in the video the camera mic just goes crazy and even that TV over there I've had running I've seen flickers through it from the amount of EMF that comes off this thing so probably not ideal for what I'm thinking of doing with one through work um, it'll be to do with pest control or deterrence more than anything. I don't believe this would be lethal, but lethal or just a deterrent doesn't really matter in this case when you've got things nibbling on very expensive equipment. But uh, yeah, these things are going to pack a punch. I've still got one or two to ship out to other YouTubers, but I'm going to hang on to the rest of them, the other three, I think. So, well, I was going to do this in one piece video, but since the camera ran out of memory, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. Be wary of EMF noise coming through your speakers. I don't know how loud this is going to be. But that's going to ground. Both the black wire and the, the thick black wire and the thin one are both ground, so it doesn't matter if it's arcing from one to the other. And that's driving it with a 4.7K resistor and just touching it. If you hold it on there, it stops arcing. I don't know how... Phil got his to arc constantly with the um, power supply that he's using. Maybe it has an input frequency generator or something. But in the case of running it off a battery, it, once you make contact, it stops. But if you even just break contact ever so slightly, it just keeps arcing. And it's a nice, big, thick spark. I've had it out pretty far. You would not want to touch that. <laughs> I would not be putting my finger across that to test its functionality. But yeah, internally it'll probably be getting a bit warm now. Obviously when I install it in a device it's not going to be cycling that much or not that hard. Uh, there might even be a better way of driving it other than straight with the resistor. So if anyone's got any better ideas on driving it well enough to a, deter pests, and B, act maybe as a stationary engine ignition coil. I could see myself setting one of these up for the um, sundial flywheel engine that I've got, at least for the time being. Uh, I believe I'm on my way to finding a magneto drive gear and then eventually a good, make up a good magneto for it, but it'd be nice to just get it to fire over a couple of times just by setting up a, a, even a micro switch on the um, crankshaft key just to go click, click, click whenever it does a revolution. So, I don't know, it'd probably work quite well. It'd work just as well as anything else given today's electronics compared with yesterday's. Anywho, that's a bit on that one. And thanks for watching. I'll try and work out who is going to get the next couple of coils and send them out, or at least quote shipping. I think a couple of them are American. Or at least one guy was in America, so I'll have to quote on that one. But the uh, Aussie guys, there was one more Australian who's going to get one free of charge. So thanks for watching.